Okay, we are here with the Spooky Night Inside bundle. Now, as you can see, I've got all the pieces laid out here, and it's right before dust to kind of give it that spookiness. Now, at first, I actually thought this was going to be kind of like a hidden door when I originally saw it, but it actually is a game's cupboard, which actually does make board games, which is nice for, you know, either decoration purposes or, you know, like when they have one of those challenges. Um, now, as you can see, it does have a nice little good design here. That you can see all the little ones inside. The actual framework itself looks like it's actually taken some hits as well. But it does make up to six weight worth of games. Now, I've had it sitting here for about five minutes and nothing's appeared. So it's probably only a few an hour. You know, not enough to be good for junk, but enough for, you know, grabbing for decorations or other things. But also just, it does look good as a decoration as well. Now, we've got the little uh, ghost here that you can see as, uh, for YouTube purposes, this is, uh, this is definitely jelly splattered all over this ghost that just uh it was obviously used as a tablecloth for years uh, as we all know that is jelly and if people don't realize that's a joke uh, i'm assuming i'm still gonna get comments about it um but yes as we can see the jelly covered ghost here actually does i mean it looks like something you would expect someone to randomly make and the apocalypse but yeah it does look good overall next up we have the anatomy of a plushie doll no i'm just kidding it's the mr bones fuzzy but if you've ever wondered the horrible truth of those plushies is they're apparently full of this and yeah that is honestly they did a good job at making it somehow kind of cute and kind of creepy but definitely Fallout Halloween vibes. Next up, we have the Frank Radroach, which is literally just a Radroach that sits there like that. It looks kind of cool. Honestly, I kind of wish we had more creatures like this. It would be fun to have, like, different things that we could put down, like a Radroach ranch or something, you know. I have them, like, just sitting there looking like they're actually doing something. Next up, we have the actual jack-o'-lantern ones. And you know what? I thought at first I was not going to care for these. But when I saw them, actually, they look so much better in person. You can see they actually white up the actual thing underneath them. But they're just normal containers that someone in the, you know, the fall universe turned into jack-o'-lanterns because they didn't have access to it. Yeah, I could see someone scavenging and doing this just for it, but... Each one has its own unique face. Each one is actually made from a different object. Uh, you know, honestly, it's, it's a really nice little feature. Then, of course, we have the trick-or-treat sign. Uh, honestly, it's just, you know, it, it's just a trick-or-treat sign. It's cool looking, but not a 20-minute lecture on that worthy. And then, finally, we have the Mothman Cultist Pad. Now... This is an older item that they've added to this bundle and still looks nice. I mean, even though it's called a Mothman cultist bed and definitely has that Mothman theme, it still could be used for other things, which is always nice because it's not like slathered in Mothman cultist stuff. But it's just your standard bed you get into your rest. It's made out of this kind of woven wood design. As you can see, you just get into it like normal. But that said, this is the bundle as we have it right now. And I hope everyone has a safe and fun Halloween month.